Welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio. I'm the best YouTuber in my street, a very average player who uses this platform to trick you into thinking I'm good at and capable of playing Yu-Gi-Oh on any kind of level at all. Before we get started, why don't you hit subscribe for me, even if it's not because you secretly enjoy bad content, but because you pity me. I need every bit of help I can get. Hi guys, it's Joe here from Rufio. Apologies if you hear any weird noise in the background. My pug is hankering around by the camera and of course making lots of grunting sounds like he does as always uh, and is certainly going to interrupt this video no doubt. I also live in the world's noisiest house so as you may know you get some weird noises in the background so apologies in advance if we do get any of those. We are here for the Monday Night Market Watch so if this is your first time here welcome aboard you should most definitely hit subscribe. If this is not your first time here well I don't know what the fuck you're doing back here for this absolutely garbage content yet here you are thank you very much in any case for checking in. There's lots for us to cover. Of course, Battles of Legend coming out and a whole bunch of cards that should be settling in prices. We're going to be taking a look at some of the pre-sale uh, values on those cards and some of the other bits and bobs that are going around on the market. And uh, yeah, we'll get stuck right in for you now. So we're going to kickstart today's market watch with a little bit of a look at the pre-order prices on Battles of Legend. Let's see how they're doing. Of course, they are pre-order prices. So usually those prices are a little bit hyped, but occasionally, very occasionally, you can get yourself a nice little gem in there. We are covering some of the main cards that I feel are worth covering, some of the reprints, some of the new stuff that's coming out, in particular the Numeron cards, which is pretty much a given at this stage that everyone kind of wants to get their hands on those. So it'll be interesting to see where they're set up. But anyway, I'm, uh, I'm waffling here as usual, so let's get stuck in. So so we start off with Chaos Emperor Dragon, Dragon of Armageddon. This is the prize card that is being reprinted. You can get yourself an English copy for €13.95. Euros and 95. That is not too bad if you ask me. I think this could genuinely be a €20, €30 Euro card in my opinion, especially if it takes off. It's really good in any kind of like Thunder builds. Uh, there's lots of Chaos stuff that's doing the rounds at the moment that this could definitely fit into and certainly make better. I think this is a really, really good pickup at this price and something that people should definitely be considering picking up. Next, we're going to take a look at the Numeron cards. Of course, I'm expecting some of these to be quite high value. This will be one of those things that everybody, everybody wants to get their hand on an engine for because it's insane. Of course, you can end on the uh, Zexel lock, which we'll get into in a moment. Uh, but of course, these help you get along those lines. Of course, the fact that they also put tons of damage on board, they generate plenty of advantage and all kinds of stupid stuff. This is one of these engines that expect a lot of people to be splashing into their extra decks. So we start off with Numeron Network. At the moment, the pre-order price on this for something in English is 40 euros is basically the given, you know, after your postage. And that is the minimum. There's only three listings available on car market at this time. This is Sunday, so the day before the market watch goes live. So we're on the 19th. We may see some more of these pop up over the next few days because, of course, people will start getting their product if they haven't got it already. So expect that these prices may fluctuate, although I do expect this to be one that stays kind of high. Next one to Numeron Wall, just a euro a copy, which isn't too bad at all. Again, one that might be worth getting now rather than later. It may creep up in value, as these things often do. Uh, and at euro a pop, you've really got nothing much to lose. If it's just for personal pickup, of course, it may be a gamble if you're wanting to invest and try and make some money on these things. And now we move on to the numbers themselves. We start off with Numeron Gate. Uh, this one is at 48 cents. So really, again, cheap as anything. Probably worth picking up because chances are if you're trading or trying to buy off people in person, you're looking at a few more euros unless you're a vendor, uh, in which case you should probably be buying this stuff in bulk anyway, like cases. Um, again, I think that these sets are kind of shorthanded in terms of not having as much to go around as we've had in the past necessarily. So keep that in mind. That may drive the prices up a little bit as well. But again, 48 cents, not too high at all. We've got number two coming in. Again, a similar price mark, probably another one to just pick up whilst it's cheap. Guarantee that you've got it for as cheap as it's probably ever going to be. And there's a good chance that it goes up. So again, save yourself some money and get hold of it as soon as possible. On to gate three, again, probably the similar sort of price range around this 50 cent mark. It's really not too bad to be something to be digging into. Uh, again, they're probably only going to be, I guess we call them pound cards or, you know, penny stocks, as people may say. I uh, do you think that these will go up in value, though, because we don't know when the next print of these will be around. Uh, of course, there may be an unlimited print in, in the near future, but... Even still, I imagine these prices are probably going to be picking up once people realize how effective this engine is, and it'll push the prices up as well. Number four, coming in again around the same sort of mark. There's no reason to not have access to these cards now whilst they are cheap. 
New Moron calling coming in between seven and nine euros. Could be one that definitely goes up again. Uh, key card in, card in all of these combos and lines of play. So something to consider picking up sooner rather than later. Could again potentially be one that shoots up out of nowhere if people find this is really effective. I do think that the risk on gambling on this is very, very slim. If it drops, it won't be buying much, but it is something to consider if you're looking to buy these in bulk. So moving on to some of the other prints in this set. Trishula, one that was actually quite high for the jump promo, is now around €7 Euros a pop, 6 50 or so. Um, I don't think this is a bad pickup. I think this is a really good card. Personally, I would probably go for the original printing because it will hold much better value. So if it is something that you're looking to invest in to hold some value, Obviously, go with the original printing. If you just want a copy to go into your deck or something that you want to toy around with, I think seven euros is a really respectable price. Uh, if Thunder Dragon ever comes off, uh, in particular Colossus, the deck will take off and it'll need this card as a key part of it. And we may see it come up in some other combo strategies. So something probably to have in your binder sat around waiting for the right time to be used. I wanted to take a look at some of the fossil cards. Rejoice anime fans, these don't look too bad for price-wise from my first glances, so we'll go through them all now. Uh, this is one that I know a lot of people are looking forward to doing. I may, in fact, do a deck uh, video on this deck itself uh, just to give you some ideas of how to play. So if you're looking to do that, certainly let me know if that's something you're interested in and we'll get to it. But let's stop waffling. Let's get stuck on with it. So Fossil Fusion, obviously one of the main, most important cards in this deck, something that is going to get your plays going. Uh, we're seeing these at €2.50, which, again, is really not a bad price range. Uh, I can't see it going much less than it is now. Will it go up? Probably not either. I think this is probably about where it should be. Uh, and again, it's not too expensive. So something to probably consider picking up if you want to play the deck. Fossil Warrior, Skull Knight, again, €2.50, not bad at all. These are really, really cheap cards for an anime fan favourite sort of thing. You can actually expect that down the line, these could potentially go up if they don't get reprints because it'll be one of those decks that the anime fans want to play, the classic fans want to play, the collectors want to play, the real sort of anime enthusiasts. And those kind of decks do command a bit of a price down the line. So it, I guess it could potentially go up, but I think in the near future, it's probably not going to change much of what it is now. Still, I think it's a very respectable price. Fossil Warrior, Skull King, again around that €2 Euro mark to 250 All of these are coming in around the same sort of price so far. And again, I really don't think it's too bad. There's not much of a gamble. At the very least, they're going to go down to maybe a euro or so. So that I guess in that sense, there may be as little bit. But again, I don't see a huge amount of fluctuation likely to happen. Next up, we have Fossil Dragon Skull Guard. Around the €2 Euro mark, again, falling into that sort of price line that we've seen with all the other cards. Really not too expensive and something that you should consider just picking up at this moment in time. Unsurprisingly, there's no real information on 10,000 Dragon just yet. We don't know how rare the pull rate is. Uh, it'll be the same with the Utopia. I imagine these are going to be, you know, potentially anywhere up to around 1,000 euros. That's definitely a possibility. Could they be as high end as, uh, as that? Or could they fall into maybe the three to 500 euro mark a little bit like a Starlight Rare? Time will tell when we see the pull rates. And so earlier I alluded to Zexel. This is something that people are playing in line with the Numeron card so they can do some bullshit ass Harry uh, and fuck you up with Zexel lock. Uh, this card should have been gone from the game a long time ago, but yet yeah, here it remains. So uh, people are going to do bullshit things with it. So we can see the price scooping all the way up. Uh, we've got a Jump Rare version of the Maximum Crisis version. The Maximum Crisis version reach around the €6 Euro mark for something in just good condition, for something near mint, closer to 7 If you want to go for first edition, and we'll look a little further down. So only one first edition in English available on this here. €9 Euros a pop. Let's go ahead and look at the Jump Promo versions. So for those of you who like your better prints, the Jump Promo is available. Uh, €15.50 for something in good condition. Something near mint closer to €17 Euros a pop. It's up to you whether you think it's worth spending the extra. Of course, those of you who like to flex will already know the answer to that. And those of you who just want to play the bullshit card, you can get it a little bit cheaper. So this was a card that I'd seen getting hyped up in the States. I think it's getting used in the Sacred Beast deck uh, because of the tribute and stuff that goes on. Uh, Darkest Diabolos, uh, it's sat at around €2.50, which isn't really all that bad. I know in the US it's shooting right the way through the roof. Well, unfortunately for you across the pond, we don't have that kind of bullshit going on here. Certainly not to the extent that you guys do. Um, €2.50 a pop's really not too bad. Something that most people have in their binders anyway. Why we paying well over $10 a pop for these is just beyond me especially when it's getting used in sacred beasts when sacred beasts are shit at best 
I did want to take a look at a few of the Invoke cards, in particular ones that usually have a good value or are not getting reprinted in this new set that's coming up. Uh, so we're starting off with Mecha, but there's two different prints of this available. Uh, there's one that's cheaper than this one, and there's the, the better print that I did fully expect to go up. And that's exactly what we're really seeing here. Um which we'll see on the next tab, of course. On this tab in particular, though, we've got them under a euro for the cheaper version. Uh, not too bad at all. Something that's probably worth picking up because, again, it could shoot up over the next few weeks. Certainly higher than it is now. Uh, but we'll go and take a look at that better version right now. So Secret Rare Printings of Invoked Mecha, but 10 euros a pop at a minimum. If you want something in first edition, just one euro more, probably worth just paying that extra euro. Um, something that's always going to have some good amount of value because it is a very, very popular cult following deck that's really splashable. And this is probably one of the best extra deck options. There's definitely one of the most splashable ones out there. 11 euros a pop is actually not too bad as a, as a rough guesstimate. But again, if you just want something cheap and cheerful, about a euro a pop is what you can get them for. Invocation, one that I wanted to keep an eye on. We're less bothered about the Ultimate Rare. We know that it's going to hold value, but I think that's all in a league of its own because what we want to look at here is the lower end prints and see how things are moving there. Uh, we've got the Shadows in Valhalla version. Uh, this is down to around 12 euros a pop. These were almost 20 each. Uh, unsurprisingly, because we know that the other print is going to be a secret rare, that is tanked this because everyone's going to want the secret rares. What will be interesting to see is what effect that has had on the secret rare printing that already exists. And so here we see it. it has indeed come down around 15 euros, probably 18 euros if you want something in much better condition. Uh, you can also get that in first edition, so it's not too bad. Uh, about 18 euros for something in secret rare first edition in near mint is really not so bad. Uh, I do think that the pre-orders on these are probably going to be around the 15 euro mark anyway. So it may just be worth punting and getting these uh, on the hope that they don't go back up again. But who knows, it could be printed to death in the set, in which case these are going to tank through the floor. Alice of the Invoker of Manus, another card that has still only got that one print and unsurprisingly is gradually creeping up. We are seeing it around 18 euro mark for something in good condition, something in near mint. You're looking around 23 euros. I do expect this to creep up towards the 25 mark for people experimenting with the deck. Um, it's still only got the single print and it will remain around this sort of mark until it gets another print. I expect this to not really drop below 20 anytime soon. So again, it might be a good pickup as it is now if it's something that you intend to use in the near future. Speaking of Alistair, we're looking at the original Alistair uh, just to see how he's getting on. So the, is it super rares from Fusion Enforcers? Uh, these are sat around four euros a pop. Um, Again, not too bad. I did expect it to go up potentially a little bit more than this. What will be interesting to do, though, is see what the secrets are doing, because I believe that these will probably be the ones that are most likely to hike up in the long run. So by the looks of it, we have seen these yo-yo up towards that 5 mark, but they've actually come right the way back down, around €1.80 to €2.50, depending on condition and where you want to get it from, that kind of thing. This is actually really not a bad pickup, and again, I expect these to creep up towards that €5 Euro mark overall, with people want to want to do their rarity bumps down the line. So I'm looking at some of the request cards as well as a couple of other bits I just wanted to cover before we finish off. Not too much to go in the market watch. I want to look at the Necros cards because Necros Dragma is something that we have to kind of consider that is going to be coming up. I fully expect that these will be a really good investment. They're cheap as anything. Necros of Unicor, five cents. Yes, it is the reprint version, but for sure this is going to be higher than it is now. If it takes off and if it becomes a solid choice in the meta, or if Megaliths take off, then we will see these skyrocket. I think these are really, really worth picking up at this price. There is next to no gamble involved in this at all, and it is almost a guarantee that you'll be able to flip these for a plus. If you're someone that wants to play the deck as well, now's a better time than any to pick these up before they shoot up. And continuing along those lines, Necros of Brianek, Three euros, one euro that's on there. The rest are about five euros. So expect those to disappear at the bottom end there and the price start to creep up overall. Again, once we see that this deck is going to work as a viable option in the TCG, you could very well see that change in the price in terms of it rising. And Necros of Trishula. 40 cents is the going rate. Again, not really a big punt. What's the worst you're going to lose here if you get a play set of these and it's something you want to play? One euro 20 is really nothing in the modern game. Um... And if you're someone that's investing, again, I really don't think there's much of a punt going on here. These will probably likely go up in the coming months. I wanted to take a look at a couple of the Prank Kids cards because, of course, we have Meow Meow uh, sort of announced in the last few weeks. I did cover it in the last market watch. I wanted to see what the reactionary knee jerk was there. 
Place has gone up and more or less stayed up. Um, 14 euros a pop for something in English now. These were three, four euros only a couple of weeks ago. So this is absolutely insane. This hike, if you've got these now, is probably the time to cash these out because there's a very good chance I could see something like this getting reprinted in the near future. It wouldn't altogether surprise me if you see a printed in a set later on this year to kind of try and uh, juice some value out of that meow meow when it comes out. I would probably sell up if you're someone that has these and you're looking to sell. Now is probably a good a time as any. If you're a buyer, probably something to wait on a little bit longer. And one of the other ones that's maintained a little bit of value, not all too much, around three to four euros a pop. That one, the fucking chicken thing. Uh, again, Probably going to sit around the five euro mark at most. Expect these to disappear in the bottom end where people are trying to pick these up to flip them on for a small amount of profit. Uh, if you're someone that's looking to get into it now, it's probably a good a time as any. I don't really see them going down from this, if anything at all. Uh, most likely that they're going to go up. Again, not significantly, but even just a little. It's probably worth just getting them now sooner rather than later. And it'd been requested that I look at Chaka 9, but I've covered Chaka 9 and Whiptail's going to be covered after this. Zodiac card's kind of in a weird place. I uh, really wish they'd just put Barrage to 3 and let us have our way with it because it's a really cool engine. I don't think it'll do as crazy stuff as people might expect. Uh, of course, Broad Bull's got to stay on the list. Dryden at 1 is fine. Um, but anyway, we're getting off track there. So Chaka 9, uh, €9.90 is the cheapest, all the way up to around €10 Euros at the bottom end. Um... I don't know if this is a good pickup or not, if it's something that you want to buy into. It is still only on that single print, and I don't really see it getting reprinted anytime soon. So this is probably just what you're going to have to pay for the card. And as promised, we're looking at Zodiac Whip Tail. Uh, these are sat around €29. Euros. They fluctuate between there and around 40 depending on condition and all of that. Um... Again, around 30 euros is the going rate at the moment, which I don't think is too bad a pickup. It may drop somewhat, but... Again, it's an ulti, it's an OTS ulti, it is going to hold long-term value, so probably not a bad pickup if it's something you're considering. And our final card that we're covering on today's Market Watch, Bingo Machine Go. This is one that was absolutely extortionate, around €50 Euros just a little while ago, just about a month ago, in fact. We're now seeing them at around €25, Euros. probably people anticipating that we're going to see another Legendary Duelist set come out soon with these reprints in. And this is going to be one of those cards that sort of goes with it, and we've seen how all of those have gone. They've tanked right the way down to around the 5 to €10 Euro mark on the whole, so we're probably going to see this plummet as well. The cheapest you can get these for now is €25 Euros a pop, which is kind of sacred because the only people that want to play it are Blue Eyes players and well Blue Eyes is a bad deck so you might as well just give the fans what they want and let them play it so of course the reprint can't come soon enough so that is all for the market watch yes that noise you can hear in the background is my dumbass dog snoring whilst probably awake as you do listen This is what I have to put up with. Thank you very much for making it to the end of the video. It's insane that you've made it this far. Normally people switch off by now, so you are really kind of weird for making it this far. I hope that if you have, you have definitely hit subscribe already. In either case, thank you very much for coming along to watch the Monday Night Market Watch. We have plenty more of these coming every single week, so if you want to find out what's going on in the Euro market, here is the best place for it we will continue to bring these as well as other content usually how-to videos deck profiles combo tutorials and all that other kind of rubbish and hopefully some more discussion based content in the future make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out and i will see you in the next one thank you for watching hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content i put together for you enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.